All right, so this video is, I just want to take some time to talk about the homework because I've been getting a lot of emails about it. Uh, but before I talk about the homework and solve some example problems, I do want to talk about why you're separating things into horizontal and vertical, because that's extremely important. So let me explain again, the problems is going to be in the latter half of the video. Now, so let's say you're starting at this position, right? Let's say this is your initial position. And let's say you traveled five blocks northeast. Let's say you travel five blocks northeast. Now, the northeast can mean a lot of things. You can just mean this entire area, right? This is where exactly are you traveling, right? So you can try this is northeast, this is northeast, that's northeast. That can be five blocks, this can be five blocks, this can be five blocks. Where exactly are we traveling though? We there really isn't somewhere specific. We need to know something really, really specific. So, and how do we? How do we describe where we're going? So let's make up some numbers. Let's make up some numbers. So uh, I'm traveling five blocks. This is five. Well, that's this is five. It's five blocks. Uh, let's just make up some numbers. Let's say. Also, everything that I'm going to uh, be saying from now on just made up numbers. There's no, I'm not, if you're asking me, if your question is, well, how did you get these numbers? It's because I made them up. Now, let's say we travel five blocks here. How do we know specifically which direction, which direction northeast we traveled? We need reference points specifically reference points in the horizontal and the vertical. We need to know how much you traveled is to the east and how much you traveled is to the north. We need reference points. Actually, let me use a different color because purple and blue kind of look the same. So we need a Y component we need a Y component and we need an X component, right? So this five blocks here, we can say that our five blocks that we traveled is some X component to the east and some Y component to the north. And I'm gonna make up some numbers again. I'm gonna say that I traveled, my five blocks that I traveled is three blocks east from where I started and is I'm gonna use a, a different green I don't like this green and my Y component is four blocks north from where I started and these are made up numbers guys but they kind of work out anyway but I'm still not done I need a specific direction I need a specific direction on how far, on where exactly I travel five blocks northeast. That's where the angle comes in, right? Now, well, if we know what our angle is, we know specifically which direction we traveled in. And I know for a fact that when you do your trigonometry that this angle comes out to 50, somewhere around 50 degrees, somewhere around there, I don't know, somewhere. So your angle here is 53 degrees. So your full direction, including everything, is that I traveled five blocks, uh, 53 degrees above the horizontal. 
That is usually how you're going to see the direction from now on. This is a full direction, including magnitude and direction. This is how you would describe where you are going. It's exactly, it's much more descriptive than north each. Much more descriptive. Right, so your horizontal is the x component. So now we know exactly where we are, not exactly which direction. So we define direction with angle. All right, hopefully that's clear enough for you guys. Again, these numbers are made up. All right, these numbers are made up. That's why you know that things. Again, it's the same thing with the velocity, right? So let's you have a velocity, you have a football going at a velocity of some number. Well, there's a velocity in the y direction and there's a velocity in the x direction. And that's what you're gonna see. That's what you're gonna see. So number one of the homework problem. Oh well, hold on. Number one of the homework problem is a football, again, you're gonna first draw your triangle. I know the triangle looks different from the diagram right here, but that's just because the, the image I copied has the angle like that. It's on your reference table. On your reference table, they draw it like that. I don't know why, but they do. Anyway, let's, we drew our triangle. So it says here, a football is launched at an angle of 45 degrees. So you say that the angle, an angle above the horizontal, so it says the angle of 45 degrees above the horizontal, so this is 45 degrees, at a velocity of 15.6. Guys, if you ever think about it, you're on the ground, a guy kicks the football or he throws the football, the football, is gonna go that way, right? So the velocity that they're talking about is this, is the hypotenuse. Your velocity for the hypotenuse is 15.6. Well, just like I showed you in the previous uh, part of the video that things can be separated into an X and Y component, right? Things can be an X and Y component. So, then it says, well, what is the velocity in the x direction of the football? So, vx, i is question mark. What is it? So now that we have everything we need, we're going to fill out uh, our known. So what are three possible things we might know about out of these four? So you know what your angle is. Your angle is 45 degrees. Well, adjacent means next to. Adjacent means next to, so adjacent is actually VXI, that's VXI. That's what you want to find out. We don't know what opposite is, and our hypotenuse is 15.6. Hypotenuse is your longest side. So now that you have angle adjacent hypotenuse, well, which one of these formulas up here has everything you need? The one that has everything you need is cosine. So we're going to write out cosine data is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Your angle is 45 degrees. Adjacent is VXI. Hypotenuse is 15.6. So you're going to multiply both sides 15.6 to cancel it out. Move it to the other side. And now you plug this into your calculator. If you're using Google, if you're using Google, you can just write it like this. Uh, you're going to press enter. Yeah. So you're going to do 15.6 cosine 45 degrees. Make sure you put 45 degrees because if you don't, it's going to use radians. This is one of the main reasons why students get questions wrong because they use radians. So you want to make sure you use degrees, right in degrees. Uh, so now you're going to calculate for, uh, where is it? Okay. 
So it is 11, no wait, it's not. It's 11.0 meters per second. So that's your velocity in the x direction. That's your velocity in the x direction. So let's do another problem. So now, so number two, again, we're going to draw our triangle. So the flow ball is launched at an angle above the horizontal. So it's launched at some angle. We don't know what the angle is, but we know it's launched at an angle above the horizontal, right? It's in the wording. At a velocity of 30 meters per second. So your velocity here is 30 meters per second, right? Because we know we're launching it that way. And it says, well, the velocity in the f of the football in the y direction is 10 meters per second. So you know Vyi is 10 meters per second. But what is the angle the football was launched at? That's what we want to find out. So now, now we figure out what we know. So we want to figure out what our angle is. Do we know what's next to our angle? What's adjacent to our angle? No, nah, not really. We don't know what Vx is. We're also not trying to find out what Vx is. Do we know it's opposite to our angle? Yeah. Vyi is opposite to our angle. Do we know what's our hypotenuse? Yeah, our hypotenuse is 30 meters per second. So we have these three. So the only formula we can use is sine data is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So we're going to do sine data. Right? We're trying to solve for what data is. Your opposite is 10. Your hypotenuse is 30. And so we come out to 1 divided by 3. Well then, how do you solve for this? How do you get data by itself? To get data by itself, I'm sure most math teachers don't, I don't, I don't think math teachers tell you why, how to get data by itself. They just tell you that data, if you're ever in this situation, you just do data is sine negative one. And that's what you're gonna do too. So, so if you're ever in this situation, when you're ever trying to find out what the, the angle is, you're gonna do you can move the sign to the other side and make it sign negative one. And so you plug this into a calculator. Now, how do you do this? Make sure you're on degrees again, make sure you're on degrees. You click inverse on the Google calculator. You click sign negative one. Hold on, I have to do it. So you click degrees, make sure it's uh, labeled in degrees, right? Make sure it's bolded. You click inverse, sine negative one should come out to arc sine do one divided by three close your parentheses and then you get 19.5 so it's 19.5 degrees so that's the angle you launch it at now to explain why you're doing sine negative one you can think about it this way uh, if you're ever doing, let's say you have, let's say you have x data is equal to one third. You want data by itself. You're gonna do divide by x, which is basically, and you get divided by x right here. That's basically the same thing what you're doing with sine. You're doing data divided by sine on both sides. You're dividing by sine. But the thing here is that dividing by sine, one over sine is sine negative one. So to cancel out sine data, you have to multiply sine negative one times sine. And then both of these cancel out. And then you do one third times sine negative one. Now you don't have to understand why you need to do that. Again, if you just got lost there, you don't understand why you're doing sine negative one or why you're, why you're doing sine negative one, that's fine. Just know that in this situation, you have to do sine negative one. Let's do another question, a final question before we go. I wanna do one more question. I wanna do a question where you're asked to find the hypotenuse.
Actually, there's only one question where you need to find the hypotenuse. And I think you guys should be fine with that. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right, guys, hopefully this helped.